Welcome to this Ancient Greek tutorial. This video's topic is Ancient Greek pronunciation. Pronunciation in Ancient Greek is quite varied owing to its long history and geographic spread. Even in the same time period, people in different places pronounced the language differently. As a result, the same word can be pronounced many different ways depending on the method chosen. The three most common methods are Erasmian pronunciation, Ancient Greek pronunciation, and Modern Greek pronunciation. Erasmian pronunciation is a pronunciation style developed by the scholar Erasmus. It is the most common pronunciation style for English-speaking students. Ancient Greek pronunciation is what Ancient Greek probably sounded like, reconstructed from the writings of ancient authors. That being said, Ancient Greek likely had different pronunciations depending on location, just like how English accents vary depending on country and region. Finally, Modern Greek pronunciation pronounces Ancient Greek the same way as the modern language. This is the pronunciation used in Greece today. As in all languages, it is usually possible to communicate with people using a different accent. However, it still makes sense for Westerners to learn Erasmian pronunciation, so this tutorial will focus mainly on it. However, I will address significant differences between Erasmian and ancient pronunciation. Let's begin with the alphabet. This is alpha. It can be pronounced with two lengths, long and short. The long alpha is pronounced with an ah sound, like in father. The short alpha is pronounced with an uh sound, as in about. Most of the time, there is no written distinction between long and short alphas except when first learning a word or concept. The next letter is beta. It is pronounced just like the English letter B, as in bet. This letter is gamma. It is pronounced with a hard G, like the word game, or gif, if you pronounce it correctly. It can also have some strange relationships with other letters, but we will address these a bit later. Delta is the next letter. It is pronounced like D in English, as in dog. This is epsilon. It is always a short vowel and is pronounced like the E in bet. This is zeta. The Erasmian pronunciation pronounces it like the Z in zero. However, the ancient method pronounces it like the SD in wisdom. This next letter is eta. It is always a long vowel. It is pronounced like the A in hate. This is theta. In Erasmian pronunciation, it is pronounced like the th in thing. In ancient pronunciation, however, it is pronounced like the T with an H after it. Some examples are the T in top or the TH in hothead. Iota can be either a long or short vowel. As a short vowel, it is pronounced like the I in bill. As a long vowel, it is pronounced like the I in police. The next letter, kappa, is pronounced like the English K, as in kin. Lambda is pronounced like the English L, as in loan. The next letter is mu. It is pronounced with an M sound, like the English word mule. Nu is another letter that is simple to pronounce. It is pronounced with N, like next. Xi has an X sound, specifically a KS sound. It is pronounced like the X in X. Omicron is always a short vowel. In Erasmian pronunciation, it is pronounced like the O in not. In ancient pronunciation, it is pronounced like the O-U in thought. The next letter is pi, pronounced like the English letter P, as in pill. Rho is the next letter of the Greek alphabet. In Erasmian pronunciation, it sounds like the English R, as in run. In ancient pronunciation, however, it is pronounced with a rolled R. A counterintuitive example is the T in water. This letter is sigma. You will notice that it has three forms. The uppercase sigma is used whenever capitals are used. The middle sigma is used in the middle of words. The final sigma is used at the ends of words. These letters differ only in their looks. Sigma is pronounced with an S. 
as in simple. This is tau. Tau is pronounced like a normal T, as in timber. Upsilon is another vowel which can be either long or short. As a long vowel, it is pronounced like the U in boot. As a short vowel, it is pronounced like the U uh in put. Phi is a consonant with differences in Erasmian and ancient pronunciation. In Erasmian pronunciation, it is pronounced like the F in fish. In ancient pronunciation, it sounds like the P with an H after it, similar to the PH in uphill. This is chi. In Erasmian pronunciation, it sounds like the CH in chutzpah. In ancient pronunciation, chi sounds like a K with an H after it. It's similar to theta and phi. The technical term for this is an aspirated consonant. In ancient pronunciation, chi sounds like the KH in backhand. Psi is pronounced like a PS. An example is the PS in gypsum. The final letter, omega, is always a long vowel. In Erasmian pronunciation, it is a long O, as in bone. In ancient pronunciation, it is like the O in long. These are all the uses of single letters. Congratulations on completing the first lesson. You should now know the basic pronunciations of letters in the ancient Greek alphabet. Stick around for the next video, where we'll learn the rest of pronunciation.